Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. I know my brothers and sisters out there in the world, this is your brother Jehoshaphat. And we back with a little bit of topic for this day. But before I start anything, y'all, I want to take this time to thank all my new subscribers for you are not my subscriber. I'm not looking. I'm not looking for fans. I'm not looking for followers. I'm looking for sisters and brothers in Christ. So I would like to take this time to thank all my new subscribers for you are my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the topic that we had today, I wrote it down, right? I wrote it down, and I just want to read it, and then we just going to talk about it for a little bit. Y'all knows how I get down, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I get down. Jesus, Jesus wants your real love, not fake love. The best way to build this love for the master, Jesus Christ, talk with him without lies bring your life your feelings and your experiences and what you going through in life trust in him with all of your life if you love him you will do your best to to do all God's commandments so Jesus it's a lot of people out here y'all that say they love Jesus but they're giving him lip service Get, Jesus wants you to love him from your heart you know what I'm saying? From your heart. And the only way, and with your mind too, all that you are as a person. But the best way that I feel any person can can build up this, this intimate relationship with the master, Jesus Christ, talk with him. You're not supposed to pray to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to pray in his name. That's why I feel sorry for Catholic people. For what I know about them and the things that they do. I could be wrong, but from my understanding is they prayed to the Virgin Mary and they look late. They look at her like if she was a saint and she is. She is a saint. She is a holy woman. But you're not supposed to pray to Mary. I'm not supposed to. I'm personally I'm not supposed to pray to Jesus. I'm supposed to talk with him. I'm supposed to tell him everything that's in my life, everything that's in my heart. Everything that I'm going through, I have to trust him. The only way that you could build this love with Jesus is for you to come to him as I can't say brother. I can't say dad. I, I can't say I can't say a king or something like that. But you come to him. He's your master. He's your savior. Respect and love him and bring him everything that's on your plate. Everything that you're going through. Any and all problems and talk to Jesus from your heart. That is the best way. And follow the commandments. God said it too. Follow, you got to follow these commandments. Because following the commandments is going to show God that you love him. Right? Following the commandments. But following the commandments is also going to prove to Jesus that you love him. So I say it to you one more time. Go ahead and talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. I talk to Jesus about everything. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all before. Pick one of the three. Either the Holy Spirit, Father God, or Jesus Christ. And talk with them. Just talk with them. You can only pray to God. But I want you to talk to the Holy Spirit. And I want you the same thing I, I told you to do with Jesus. I want you to do the same thing for the Holy Spirit. For he is in your life and he is surrounding you. He's He's in your life. You know what I'm saying? He's very present. And if you let him in, he's going to help you. He is so smart, y'all. You know what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit has so much knowledge inside of him. And he be dropping jewels on me all the time. It's your boy Jehoshaphat. I got to be real with it. You know what I'm saying? But we wasted too much time. I'm all, and I got so much more to read. When the devil comes and tests you, he wants you to give in to your sin. He knows your character. He knows your behavior. He knows what your wants and your desires are. Now, the devil uses darts to make you suffer. But with God, he uses fiery, fiery arrows of justice. Now, let me stop right there. Now, me personally, I don't have to worry about God's uh, fiery darts, his fiery arrows, because he's shooting arrows at the evil. The devil, I told y'all, with the devil, the devil is a copycat. He copycats anything that God does. So if God's sitting up here 
shooting fiery arrows at his enemies, people down here on this earth that's don't want to love God. I love God. So I got to worry about the devil and his fiery darts that he's shooting at me all damn day. But as long as I stay in God's word, that will build up my armor to protect myself against this world that you cannot see with the naked eye. Let's keep on reading, family. Yeah, I, I said that because if you are doing right, I don't have to worry about them, but the devil... I'm going to receive them no matter what. You know what I'm saying? I believe in God, so I'm going to receive his fiery darts no matter what. Let me ask you a question. How would you feel if you made the heavens and the earth and men and they still don't want to serve God? Now, let me stop right there. Now, it hurts God's heart that he made you and put you on this earth. He took out the time to make your soul, make this whole earth to where you live on, and you don't want to believe in him. So, like I say all the time, God has emotions and feelings like anything that he has created on this earth. Why would you not think that God would be saddened inside of his heart that you don't want to serve him? You know what I'm saying? You don't want to serve him. So not only are you provoking his wrath of anger against you, you're hurting him the same way. Look at uh look at look at a look at a mama and look at a daddy. Now, if they child goes against them and don't love them, would that not hurt those parents? It would. It would hurt them to the bottom of their heart. Let's keep on reading, family. Okay, they still don't to serve God, okay. Okay, you are breaking God's heart. He made you to love him. You are made for God. People, it's not their own. How would, yeah, I, I explained it. How would a parent feel if a child didn't want to receive him? Okay, inside of your eyes, it's either good or evil. What do you have in your spirit? I really mean this because... It's either good or evil in this world. And inside of your eyes, this is what the Lord said. You either gonna have eyes of, of good or you're gonna have eyes of evil. What do you have in your spirit? That's the question that your boy Jehoshaphat is asking you today for this day. To please God, it takes faith, but to satisfy God. You cannot give in to your sin. To build a relationship with the Father, you must bring your life, your love, your mind. Okay, let me stop right there and explain. Okay, God wants to know everything about your life. God wants to know everything that you're going through. God wants to know everything that you want. So just like Jesus, you gonna have to pray to God. If you want an intimate relationship with God, you can't be no liar. You can't be sitting up here telling God things that you know that you're not gonna do. You can't be telling them hiding. How, how can you hide something from God? He's all seeing and I know. But some people out there, they lie and they hide themselves from God. It's a saying out here in the world. And the saying is, you are the person that you really are when nobody is looking. Well, God is looking and he do see you. So if you want to build this perfect relationship with the father, just like I told you earlier in the show, you got to trust in him. You have to believe in him. You have to love him with all of your heart. And you must build up this relationship with him by your prayers. That's the only way you can get close to God. I don't care what nobody says. I got my intimate relationship with the father and he is very present in my life. I give you an example. I'll be chilling. I'll be doing my own thing. Remember, I'm trying my best not to sing because I'm trying to I'm trying to show off in front of God. You know what I'm saying? No matter how hard it is, I'm trying to show off in front of God. So I'm not doing no sinning. But God comes to me and he tells me certain things like the promises that he promised me. I all I got to do is be me to to get these promises from God and not sin. How easy is that? It's like it's like me and the things that I do. I really don't have to fight for him. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to fight. These will be certain things that he gives. He will give to you. But will you be a good steward of these things and take care of them? Are you deserving of the promises that God has promised you? 
You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's keep on reading. God said by his word that a man will not live on just meat alone, but by every word that comes out of God's mouth. So when bad times come, will you trust in the word of God or will you walk in your own ways and understandings? God gives us his word to strengthen us in our time of need. So I don't understand. It's like it's like people, they take the word of God for granted. And you're going to what I tell you all about Jesus, what Jesus said, Jesus said, you're going to hit rock bottom. You're going to hit hard parts in your life. But when you hit these points in your life. The only thing that's going to raise you up out of whatever the situation that you in is God's word. I got to speed up. I'm running out of time, y'all. I could I could talk forever just on that. God wants you. God wants to see your faith. You must worship God in, in good times and in bad times. If you're not willing to worship God in your bad times, you have no faith in the father. So. Let me break this down for you because this one right here, I saved it for last because I really mean this, my brothers and sisters out there. When you're having hard times in your life, that is the best time to magnify God's name in your life. That's the best time to praise God is when you're going through it. Now, if you can praise God when you're going through it, you know you will be able to praise him when everything is good. God wants to see your faith. God wants to see you going through something and still praying still lifting up his name still having love in him so my brothers and sisters out there in the world don't be like your brother jehoshaphat waste no time in this you know what i'm saying when you are going through it and you hitting the bricks life is coming at you from all angles the wolves are ready to attack i want you to pray and in God. I want you to trust in him and I want you to magnify his name in your worstest time. If you took anything out of what I'm saying to you in our little talk for this day, please, my brothers and sisters, take that one out of it. Praise God in your worstest times. Praise God in your goodest times. I'm going to go ahead and get up off of here, family. Peace and blessings to all my people out there in the world. Once more again, thank you to all my new brothers and sisters that subscribe to my channel. You mean the world to me. This has been your brother Jehoshaphat. Peace and blessings to the people of the world.